am I going to attempt to install? Well, it should work. Zorin 10 Ultimate onto this computer that's building, uh, booting up here. As you can see, it's two and a half gigahertz, got four gigs of RAM, and I'm just going to choose the boot, which is that hand disk which is the little USB stick I've got in the bottom it's got persistence on it and I'm pretty sure I've installed simple screen recorder on it so I may even be able to ditch the handheld camera and attempt to do it with the screen recorder running uh, I do have a USB 3 uh, card inside there but it doesn't uh, allow me to boot from it which is unfortunate but anyway We'll just um, have a crack and see what happens. It's going to be lengthy, but it's your choice whether you watch or not. And we're just going to take the default there and save ourselves five or six seconds. And that should boot up to the Zoran Live Session Desktop in a minute or so at which point I'll be able to hopefully start the simple screen recorder and see if that works and then do a live installation onto actual hardware instead of these virtual boxes which there's there's nothing wrong with that but just something a bit different I suppose and I've certainly never attempted to do it before I have installed quite a few Linux distributions from USB sticks and DVDs etc onto what have I got four, four different computers so I've done this quite a few times and um, this is just going to be something a bit different so see we're slowly coming up there must admit I've got another machine with USB 3 on it and uh, yes it's definitely a bit quicker but anyway it's what is it boxing day it's been a bit rainy outside here in Melbourne it was mid 30 30 something degrees 34 or 5 degrees or something it was nearly 40 the other day so it's just a nice day for just slouching around on the lounge or doing stuff like this and there we are I'll just see if we can get um, a simple screen recorder going there it is so I'll attempt to get a simple screen recorder going and record the process from the actual machine that's uh, getting the job done on it. So we'll, this will be part one, we'll come back to part two which will be the actual install and then I intend to install some other stuff on there like the Cairo dock and unit booting and configure the machine up so the way I like to do it and I'm just going to record the whole process. I'll catch you on the next video.